Rating agency Crystal has lowered its GDP growth estimates to 5.5% and has also raised the red flags on the impact of this tightening that it will have on corporate India and banks in particular. Joining us now is Ramraj Pai, President of Crystal Ratings. Ramraj, many thanks for joining us on Bloomberg. Uh, let me begin by asking you about what you consider is the impact on, uh, on corporates because of this liquidity squeeze. How vulnerable do you think is India Inc.? Yeah, thanks, thanks, Arsha. So, uh, you know, as we put out in our uh, in our report, I think uh, clearly the liquidity tightening uh, is going to is going to have a material impact uh, on on corporate India. I think we are expecting a weakening in the overall credit fundamentals of of companies. Our analysis of about eleven thousand five hundred companies that we rate, uh, you know, indicate that the repayments coming up uh, for the present year are about one point one trillion rupees. And out of which only about two thirds uh, will be, uh, you know, will be repaid. Uh, hopefully, out of profits, uh, you know, which are going to be available, uh, and that would mean that about a third is going to be up for refinance. And while refinance has always been something which, you know, we've seen, um, you know, companies resort to from time to time, I think the reality is that given the fact that we are seeing a fairly, uh, you know, uh, sort of material tightening in liquidity, mm. uh, both access to refinance. As well as the cost of refinance is something that could have a definite impact in terms of the ability of a lot of companies to repay their loans. Mm. So clearly, this is going to have an uh, you know overall negative impact on credit quality uh, and NPA levels. Mm. Our expectation is that NPA levels for the banking system are going to go up mm. from about 3.3 percent is the number that we saw in March 13 mm. to about 4 percent uh, is what is our expectation for March 14. In addition, we would also expect that restructurings, you know, the other um, you know, sort of indicator of, of, of weakening credit quality will also uh, possibly go up significantly. Sure. Ramraj, I want to push the point about asset quality just a bit. When we talk to banks, the impression that one gets that, look, you know, we've turned the corner, things are looking better, you're not going to see fresh slippages. Uh, that's not what you're alluding to. You're actually alluding to the fact that uh, perhaps things might get worse. Uh, am I right in understanding that? Yes, absolutely. I think uh, we are saying that uh, things are going to get uh, worse. Uh, you know, if you look at the credit ratio, which is the ratio of our upgrades to downgrades, from about 1.14 uh, two years back, it fell to 0.6 uh, last year. That means, uh, you know, essentially we have only 60 upgrades to 100 downgrades. And obviously, the higher the ratio of upgrades to downgrades, the better it is. And, you know, while we were seeing, I think, some initial uh, sort of positive momentum in, you know, February, March, I think that the, the trend has clearly reversed and our expectation is that we will see further deterioration. Uh, uh, so I, so our, our call clearly is that we will see things weaken as we go into the present year. Sure. Uh, what do you reckon is the impact on the rate sensitive sectors? I asked you in the context of many of these sectors like automobile uh, expecting an interest rate cut that could perhaps uh, you know, fuel growth back or get the consumer back. That looks unlikely to happen in the near future. Uh, does that mean that you're going to see more pain for rate-sensitive sectors? Completely, I think. Yeah, I think uh, clearly we are going to see more pain for most of the rate-sensitive sectors from two perspectives. Uh, one is that, uh, you know, the expectation of demand growth, which one may have harbored uh, in our minds, uh, you know, uh, in the initial part of this financial year, I think, uh, you know, that is something which is definitely going to be, uh, you know, uh, sort of, um, you know, deferred or, or delayed uh, for sure. Second is several of these rate sensitive sectors are also highly leveraged. Uh, so obviously, the cost of finance, the cost of refinance, uh, the availability of money both in India as well as international, the impact of forex depreciation on a lot of these leveraged balance sheets in some of the sectors, especially in infra, are, are, are issues which are going to impact them. Uh, not just in the profit and loss account, but also on their balance sheet. So clearly, I think uh, we will see some pressure uh, in these sectors. What does that do to underlying growth, Ramraj? Are you saying then uh, we, we're going to be stuck in this 5, 5.5% range? Yeah, for sure. I think we, we ourselves have dropped our growth rate uh, expectations. From 6%, we've moved it down to 5.5%. So our expectation clearly is that this year again we will we will see a uh, slower growth, uh, and five and a half percent is the estimate that we have, uh, you know, and and really 
uh, you know, uh, on the manufacturing side, we are seeing, uh, you know, definitely uh, you you yourself have seen the numbers and in industrial growth, uh, you know, which are really at at all time lows. You know, the numbers in terms of private sector demand has hit, I believe, a 12 year low of 4%. Uh, you know, so these are not good signs, and I think uh, investment demand. I think the lesser said the better. So I think all in all, uh, definitely we are we are stuck in a zone of uh, you know five and a half percent definitely for this year. On that not so optimistic note, uh, Ramraj, by many thanks for joining us with your perspective. That's a view coming in from Crystal on the economy and on expectations from the Reserve Bank of India.